Thanks to the awesome folks over at Shudder, I got sent an early screen or two, A Wounded Fawn, that premieres on their platform on December 1st, which has previously had a run in the Tribeca Film Festival and has had quite rave reviews. However, is this movie actually worth checking out? Well, stick around and let's talk about it. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video right here where today I'm here to talk about a movie review for a movie called A Wounded Fawn which premieres on Shutter on December 1st. I got sent an early screener, I was intrigued about this movie, I saw the poster and I was like oh wow this looks quite artsy as such and it is exactly that, it's very inspired by art and Greek and just mythology in general going into this and just to give a bit of an expectation this isn't like an all-out slasher or like a true very like all-out horror kind of movie i would say it's more of like a suspense kind of ride that you're going to experience with this one and it is directed by travis stevens I've never seen any of their previous work, so this is my first introduction to them. And it stars Josh Rubin, who plays a character called Bruce, and Sarah Lind, who plays Meredith. And essentially, the plot of A Wounded Fawn is all around Bruce and Meredith do meet up. Meredith decides to get, and get back into the dating game. She comes across Bruce, who seems very charming, but he's actually a serial killer, which she doesn't know. They decide to go on a kind of romantic getaway into a cabin, when it kind of turns into this game of a cat and mouse... And they both must confront the madness inside of him. So yeah, I was very intrigued with this movie. I didn't know the plot going into it. I saw the poster. I just went in blindly. And after watching this movie, I can definitely say that there was potential here. And I can definitely say why this will work more with others than, say, myself. But I wasn't a huge fan of this movie. I think going into it, I think if you are massively in to very artsy style movies... And movies that is focused around kind of Greek and just in general like mythology, then I think you may have a blast with this movie. I like those kind of things, but not as much as others. So I will say, going into the positives here, I like the cinematography and kind of the graininess that was added to the filter when showing the cinematography and the filming here. It really added like a unique style with it. And I think there's some points where there is, say, a CG moment or two, that graininess adds well to kind of hide the effect from, say, looking awful. So I definitely will give them props for that. The acting here from Sarah Lind and Josh Rubin is really, really good. I like their chemistry. I like the dynamic between the two. And I definitely hold this movie up with the script that it's given. And I will say that I also quite like the practical effects used in here. The use of the blood that was in here was also very consistent. Kept the same colour throughout and didn't change colour or anything like that. So I like that part. And I also kind of like the costume and prop designs that they have here. So I can only give my positives for those. And I also like the music that is used throughout. Because there's certainly moments in here where this movie does play on suspense. And you're like, oh, you know, if she finds out the truth that he is a serial killer... Yeah, it's probably not going to end well. So, there's definitely momentum here. And right at the beginning shot of this movie, it is set in kind of this auction house gallery as such. And it's all about this statue, which definitely does play a significance. That's all I'll say without kind of giving too much spoilers. In terms of my negatives and why I felt like this movie kind of didn't work for me, is I felt at times this movie had a good idea... But I think it kind of ran its course a little bit too much. There's certainly some shots here which I think didn't need to be added in and didn't need to be added. And it's just a shot of, say, like, blood running down a sink. And I was like, don't really need that at this point. And there's also some cuts of Fade to Black where once the scene opens up from that Fade to Black, it pretty much merges really well. So, for example, there's a part where Bruce and Meredith are driving in a car to get to this cabin. And then, literally, the next shot after it goes to black is still them driving along in the car. And I was like, well, that should have just been kind of meshed together and kind of cut out those couple of seconds. So I think kind of a couple of seconds trimmed here and there from certain shots, I think will have just helped the pacing a little bit towards this. And there's also a couple of times here where I wasn't really supposed to laugh, but I kind of did because towards the end, it felt like it was getting really goofy. And then there's also a certain part when they're driving towards this cabin, Meredith's like, oh, can you pull over? I really, really need the toilet. And Bruce is like, Oh, we're near the cabin. We're almost there. Just hold it in. And at this point, it's bright sunshine outside. But then it kind of shows a little bit later on. And it's absolutely pitch dark. So who knows how long they're driving for. And who knows if Pooh Meredith weed herself or not. We, 
we don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming not. But yeah, it's just like daft little things like that, I think, really played into it. And again, I couldn't really buy into the full mythology of the overall story that was going on here. Again, if you may be big into that, you may be appreciate it more. But didn't really work for me as such but definitely had potential would love to see what travis stevens does in the future because i definitely think he has a bright future ahead of him so with that in mind my overall score for a wounded fawn is a 2.5 out of five so have you seen this movie are you going to go check it out if you have seen it leave any and all comments down below or if you are interested leave your comments as well and let me know if you're hyped up to see this one or maybe it's going to be one that you skip uh whatever the case should be if you enjoyed it more than me let me know but i hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and also if you're unaware i do also have a patreon yep the link down below to that patreon is in the description box where you can sign up but it's only two pounds per month you get access to early videos and so much extra content i'm posting there very regularly so you get a lot of updates about the channel and again the link is down below in the description box and i want to give a big special thank you to all my awesome patrons who help support the channel but thank you for checking out this video and until the next time i see you i'll be seeing you later